SR, BG, and the dangers of being around an NPC low viber once you wake up. I already made a video on the dangers of being around an NPC low viber once you wake up, the dangers for you chosen. But in this video, I'm going to explain the dangers for the NPC in the low viber, especially the ones that you used to know, the ones that was in your family, the ones that you used to call friends. You see, these people that isn't woke, the ones that didn't elevate, I call it rapture, the ones that's still stuck on the third dimension. You see, these ones, they only view you on the third dimension. Even if you come around and you vibing higher, you look totally different, you smelling good, you glowing, they're only going to see the crackhead me. They're only going to see the me that was vibing on the third dimension. And that's how they're going to treat me. And that's what makes it dangerous for them. You see, because let's take me, for example. When I was vibing on the third dimension, when I was vibing hella low, when I was smoking dope and I was clowning around, when I wasn't thinking about my future or anybody around me, I was a bad guy. And that's what the people view me as. They, they can't see me as anything other than that. And when I was vibing low, I didn't have the confidence to speak up when they used to say their little remarks. When I was vibing low, I couldn't see who was putting the witchcraft on me and suppressing my energy. I couldn't see who was suppressing my energy. But then I started vibing higher. And I woke up and I started seeing everything. This is why it's dangerous for the NPC and the low viber to be around a person that's vibing, a person that elevated about this, a person that could see the programs and the tactics. Because you see, you will go back around them or allow them to be around you and they'll try to treat you the same like your third dimensional self. They'll try to do the same tactics. They'll say the same little sly remarks. But this time, you see, this time, the lion cub, he's grown. He has a mane, the big sharp teeth and claws. And he got a lot of confidence because he's been through a lot of stuff. You see what I'm saying? You see how it can get dangerous? For a person that used to know you and then y'all around each other and he or she is still trying to treat you the same way that they think that you is. No matter how much you express the fact that your ass has changed, it's going to be dangerous for them because you're going to be like, shut up. You're going to start sticking up for yourself. You got the confidence. They're going to start being embarrassed and offended. You're going to turn into a villain. It's going to be dangerous for them to be around you when you vibe and hire because you're going to be able to manifest their demise. They're not going to be able to manifest your demise because they're not even on that level. It takes seven, eight, nine of them to come together together just to begin to fight you. So let's take 101, an NPC or a low viber that know you, your old friend, your crack buddy. Y'all used to smoke dope together, homeless together, struggle together. That's your struggle buddy. Now you leave for a couple of years. So happens y'all reunite and this person is still vibing low. They can't see you any other way than the third dimension. And, and the rest of the stuff that they see, oh, it's just that you, 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 you feel that you, you better than everybody else. 
You hear what I'm saying? The positive stuff that they see about you, the change, the glow. Oh, that's just fake. It'll fade away. That's not real. The real him, the real Wormwood. Oh, he's low down. He go to Venice Beach and recycle, get stuck on the freeway. He run off on the plug. He's a bad guy. All of that, all of that YouTube page, all of that glowing and, and, and working out and body gains and all of that, that's going to fade away. See, that's how they think. So when you go around them, they're going to treat you like that. But this time, this time is going to be different for them because you just might say, shut the hell up. Why? Because if they walk away, you don't care because you've been in isolation and abandoned so long that you don't even care. Back when you was vibing low, you didn't say shut up. You didn't stick up for yourself because you wanted the friends. You were so lonely. See, they think you're going to be like that. And this is what makes it dangerous for them because you're not going to be like that anymore. You just might reach back and slap the hell out of one of them for disrespecting you. See, this is this is dangerous for them. This is why I have to stay away from low vibers and NPCs, especially the ones that knew me. The ones in my hometown, certain family members, because they're going to treat me like I'm not better than they are. Like, I didn't travel all around the world. Like, I didn't graduate from every damn thing I put my mind to and started successful businesses. Somehow, they'll convince you otherwise. Like, you a bum. But this time, the lion cub got a mane. Some big teeth and some claws and a lot of confidence in this is what makes it dangerous for the NPC low fiber. They're going to think that you this cub. And then when you, when you, when you show your fangs, they're going to be all shocked and feeling hurt. And you see this, this is why it's dangerous for them. Or it could get physical like, hey, stop playing with me. You hear what I'm saying? I came too far. To go back down and, and, and have you trying to pull me back down with you. You see, it's easier to fall than to get up. Anybody could fall. You hear what I'm saying? It's easier to get back down on that third dimension than for these third dimensional people to get on your level. This is what makes it dangerous for them because... It's not the same. And, and, and they're so stuck in this low vibing state that they can't even see that it's not the same. They don't see the dangers of being around somebody that know all of their tactics. Like I'm sitting around you and I know that you participate in, in my demise. That's, that's dangerous for you. This is why we're going to have to separate all the way. The righteous is going to be over here with the wheat and the wicked is going to be over here with the tear. And that's how it's going to have to be. Because if not, it's going to be dangerous. In the other video, I explained how it would be dangerous for the righteous to hang with the NPC low vibers because they are organic portals. Demons come in and out of them. And by us, being around a dirty dog, we get bit by his fleas too. But in this video, I'm explaining how it's dangerous for the MPC low vibers to be around us. Once we woke up and we got all the confidence, we are not going to allow them to treat us like they used to treat us back in the third dimension. But they're not even wise enough to know that. Peace.